CBS 6 News starts now. Former President Donald Trump's historic hush money criminal trial continues in New York City, what we're learning from the second day in court. Plus, campus protests surrounding the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza, why these protests are sparking concerns for campus communities. And an officer shot in the line of duty now recovering. How much the community is donating to support this officer in need. Well, first here at noon, all lanes of 787 northbound at I-90 in Albany closed. Albany and state police are there. You can see it here on our DOT camera. The bottom left corner under the overpass is 787. This is video from a short time ago. There are still emergency crews on the scene. State police say someone jumped from the I-90 overpass onto 787 below. They died at the scene. Detours have been in place. An investigation is underway. And we want to take a moment to share some mental health resources, including the 988 hotline. Help is always available. Well, it's day six of former President Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial. This morning, the judge heard arguments over whether Trump violated a gag order and testimony has resumed in the case. Michael George reports. On the way into court for... Thursday, the Supreme Court will hear arguments about whether a former president is immune from prosecution for actions taken while in office. Well, it's time now for a first check of our weather. Another beautiful day getting underway as we take a live look right there over the city of Troy. Meteorologist Sam Coplin is here. And Sam, no complaints for me. Yes, today is a very, very nice day. Yeah. Bright skies, and we add about 10 degrees to our temperatures mm -hmm. for a few minutes. Definitely looking forward to that, Sam. Thank you. We'll get your weather updates anytime with the CBS 6 Weather Authority app. Find that in your app store by searching WRGB. An Albany police officer recovering from surgery after being shot in the line of duty last week. A GoFundMe set up on his behalf says Officer Jonathan Damphier has a rod in his leg to secure a broken femur, and doctors weren't able to remove all of the bullet fragments. The fundraiser meeting its goal with more than $36,000 raised. The officer will need months of physical therapy when he's eventually released from the hospital. Police say the suspect, Emil Leoni, took his own life after shooting the officer. And an Onondaga County Sheriff's deputy laid to rest after he was shot and killed during an ambush last weekend. Deputy Michael Husak's funeral was held at the Syracuse Fairgrounds with thousands of law enforcement and first responders in attendance. Authorities say he was killed by a man with a semi-automatic assault rifle. Officer Michael Jensen, who was also killed during that same incident, was laid to rest on Saturday in Rome. Today, leaders of the New York State Sheriff's Association giving lawmakers recommendations on how to help officers as waves of violence target New York police officers. Our team at the state capitol was there, and we'll have a full report tonight at 5. There are a growing number of campus demonstrations over the war in Gaza. Yesterday, police clashed with protesters at the Cal Poly campus in California. Similar actions have become a flashpoint at many colleges and universities nationwide. Meg Oliver visited Columbia University yesterday ahead of the Passover holiday. <laughs> That was Meg Oliver reporting. President Biden yesterday condemned the anti-Semitic comments directed towards Jewish students, but added that he also condemned anyone who doesn't realize what Palestinians are going through. The Senate taking up a bill that could lead to a ban on TikTok. The chamber on track to pass it, and the president says he'll sign it quickly. Now TikTok says it's gearing up to defend itself in court. It's part of a foreign aid package, about $61 billion for Ukraine, $26 billion for Israel and humanitarian efforts in Gaza, and $8 billion for Taiwan. The House package is similar to a foreign aid package that the Senate passed in February. The bill would also give TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance $200 70 days to sell the app. Otherwise, it would keep TikTok out of U.S. app stores. TikTok says it's a violation of free speech, but lawmakers say it's a national security issue. Well, next here at noon, the Biden administration just finalized a new rule. Vice President Kamala Harris announcing the first ever federal minimum staffing rule for nursing homes. As Jeff Harris reports, some say it's just what the industry needs right now, while others say finding qualified employees could be tough. As a nurse, as someone who's been a nurse a long time. 
More than half of Americans plan to take a summer vacation, and according to a new bank rate survey, more than a third of those people plan to go into debt to do so. A majority of travelers use credit cards for their expenses. If you can pay your balance in full, experts say maximizing rewards from those cards can be a great way to earn a future trip. But they caution against carrying a balance month to month with sky high interest rates. Two thirds of the people not traveling this summer say it's because they can't afford it. Well, speak near 80 degrees. I see that 78. I cannot wait for that, Sam. Thank you. Well, Mr. Food is digging an old recipe out today, but first, here's America Steals and Deals. The following segment. Okay, chicken salad situation yeah. going on there. Sort and of a spring, a good springtime food. And for warmer weather yes, too. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we're going to be warming up in a big way. I know you're looking at that Monday temperature, yes. which looks very good. But today's not a bad day either. It's just tomorrow we get the rain back, cools down a little bit, and then we're waiting for those upper 70s. All right, Sam. Thanks, and thank you for watching. We're back at five. Have a great day.